Okay, check this out. This is Veg Source uploaded. Jeff Nelson uploaded this one. It's cure type 2 diabetes of sugar, white rice. McDougal gets on point. McDougal gets on point with the sugar. Look at his face. He means business. Let's listen to this. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to share my comments and criticisms afterwards. Listen up. Diabetes, I've learned in this conference, is caused by fat clogging the receptors and not so much by sugar. Does the glycemic index have any meaning? I don't put a lot of stock in it at this point. If you eat a whole food, uh, a <laughs> just quickly look how nervous Clapper is. He, he he sees he feels. Look at McDougal's body language. He's like he's tilting his his head's tilting away from Clapper. He's like I don't know this fucking Clapper clown. And look at Clapper's body language. He's sort of like arching up here. He's defending. He can feel McDougal disapproval. His hands going up. He's getting ready for the the bitch slap. He's like, oh my god, I'm I'm siding with Dr. Gregor. I'm just gonna get bitch slapped by McDougal. And McDougal's just like down, looking down. His body language is like disappointed. This if this guy was my son, I would abandon him right now. And you can sort of see that, feel that here. You know, look at the body language. Just as a classic frame. Anyway, let's listen to it. A whole food, plant-based diet, uh, nothing's going to shoot your, in, your, your blood sugar up. It's the refined uh, for carbohydrates that get us in trouble. And uh, if you hold your fruit moderate, like Dr. McDougall said, uh, the whole grains have such a, an easy uh, glycemic curve to them that you're not going to get in trouble, and I never really pay attention to it. And the, the glycemic index also is for individual foods, and nobody really eats individual foods. You eat a whole meal, and it's a matter of what that whole glycemic load is. So the whole concept is pretty minimal. Eat whole uh, plant-based food. McDougal can't wait. He's going, oh my god, this dude, this clown, what the fuck's this clown doing up here? What's he doing up here? <laughs> you got the old mate on the end going, okay, what's McDougal going to say? And this guy here, is that lot? Who's that? It's a gold hammer or someone? Looking at McDougal going, all right, let's, let's start the party. Let's start the party. The body language, the hands are up. He's still thinking, you know, McDougal going to slap me. Let's listen up. Foods and enjoy lots of fresh fruits and veggies, and uh, and you ought to do fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. This is this is one of the most important thing for uh, the consumer and scientists and medical doctors to get straightened out, and it should have been straightened out in the 1920s, when a fellow by the name of Percival Hemsworth published his basic research, and it was all published by 1940 in the British Medical Journal, and it's just no question about it, fat. We're talking about pig fat, cow fat, olive fat, paralyzes insulin, increases insulin needs, carbohydrate, including pure white sugar, increases the sensitivity to insulin. It was published by Brunzel from the University of Washington in the New England Journal of Medicine in, I think, 78. Brunzel's his name. He took uh, type 2 diabetics. He made a synthetic diet. <clears throat> 45% sugar, and then double white sugar, multi-dextrose, plain table sugar, doubled it to 85% white sugar. Every aspect of the diabetes improved. Walter Kempner, back in the uh, 40s and 50s, published his results on treating type 2 diabetics with rice, table sugar, fruit, and juice. And Kempner knew back in the 50s that sugar makes insulin work better and cures diabetics. But you see, we've got it entirely backwards these days, thinking sugar causes diabetes. You know, it's just, it's so backward and bizarre, nobody stands a chance. So we gotta get this one simple fact down that has been established, even in diabetes care two years ago, they took type one diabetics, they dramatically inc increased their white sugar intake and decreased the insulin needs of type one diabetics. You know, it's always been the same, but everybody knows different. Don't eat potatoes, turns to sugar, makes you fat, gives you diabetes. It's exactly the opposite. That's what Dr. Gregor says, sugar causes obesity, type two diabetes, excess carbs turn to fat, turns to obesity. Dr. Gregor. Please, please, Dr. Gregor, please do a response video to this one, please. In terms of ultimate disease outcome. Imagine, I, I use the uh, analogy. First off, that's why I stopped arguing. So that's, that's basically it. Uh, last bit. Thank you. Type 2 diabetes is 100% curable. You need to know that. It's a, and uh, it's, a matter, it's a matter of changing diet 
but it's also a matter of losing weight. And unfortunately, every, uh, people are so confused. Not that the science is confused, it's just the practitioners are confused. So there you go, that's the deal right there. Uh, boom. You know, that's why I get, the, uh, that's why I've had so much success with type 2 diabetics. I've, I've been coaching over the last 18 years. I knew about this stuff 18 years ago when I was reading Doc McDougall's books and The Food Revolution by John Robbins back in 2001. So, you know, fat paralyzes insulin, white rice, sugar, fruit, the highest sugar things out there. Good for diabetics. Uh, it's just a fat though. People have a, a Mars bar, which is 50% calories from fat, and then they have diabetic complications in terms of insulin resistance, and they blame the, the sugar in the Mars bar. It's the fat. Take out the fat in the Mars bar, and you're left with sugar. Fruit, basically. Mars bar is a banana without the fat, with the fat. So this is just the craziness here. The contradictions of real... Dr. Gregor drops the ball. McDougal owns Dr. Gregor. And then a clickbait. That's just the truth. You know, that's just the truth right there. So I'd love to see McGregor, Conor McGregor, McGregor get in the ring with McDougal having debates. Give the video a thumbs up if you'd like to see that. Be fantastic. Uh, I know Gregor wouldn't get on debate with me because he, he likes to pretend that, uh, you know, myself and McDougal don't exist and pretend that, uh, you know, that sugar's the culprit, carbs are the culprit. But otherwise, McDougal there has just cleaned it up, owned it. Done deal. So if you do have anyone with diabetes type 2, get them off the fat. Simple as that. And uh, watch a few more of these videos. It's very, very basic. Fat paralyzes insulin. Sugar increases insulin sensitivity. The more sugar you eat, the better your diabetes control will be. Simple as that. And there's this guy out there with type 1 diabetes, Robbie Barbaro. He he eats almost a pure sugar diet. And check out his channel, Robbie Barbaro. Done and dusted. Sugar cures diabetes. Fat causes it. The science is there. Take it or leave it. You can disagree with us, but you're still going to be wrong. Simple as that. Jason Fong, no idea.